Hey guys, this is Dr. Kevin Nerdiporshad from the Lung Plastics Institute here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've come to share some exciting news about our fourth generation of precise technology. Uh, we recently had it FDA approved uh, last week, December 15, 2023. We did get our notice that the fourth generation of precise P4 was approved through the FDA. This will uh, be known as Precise Max. Um, I think I had liked that name uh, initially when we were throwing around different names. And so I think that Precise Max will stick. Uh, this nail will be produced uh, in the following year. So we'll start production in January, 2024 for a release date and a shipment date to late February, 2024. We're looking for a shipment date approximately about February 26th. Uh, of 2024 for a uh, release date or shipment date uh, for the precise max implant. Um, the device uh, does have increased weight bearing characteristics based on biomechanical testing. Uh, there were some caveats in the sense of the FDA approval process, meaning that we do have a timeline when we go through the 510k process of getting an implant FDA approved. Uh, that process uh, does have a timeline and we were able to get the implant approved. However, with weight bearing characteristics similar to Precise 2.1 or 2.2, uh, as you know, those devices had partial weight bearing status um, limitations. The Precise 2.2, which is our current device, uh, comes in various sizes. There's the 8.5 millimeter device, there's a 10.7 millimeter device, and a 12.5 millimeter device. The A5 corresponds to about 25 to 30 pounds of weight bearing capacity. The 10.7 and 12.5 both have about 50 pounds weight bearing capacity. Um, that you know is currently what the FDA has approved us for moving forward with our fourth generation. However, our biomechanical data um, and the reason we went forward to create Precise Max was really to replace its predecessor, which was Precise Stride. Uh, as you're aware, Precise Stride had increased weight bearing capacity. The size sizes of that implant were 10 millimeters for uh, Precise Stride followed by an 11.5 and a 13 millimeter implant. The corresponding guidelines for weight bearing capacity were 150 pounds, 200 pounds for the 11.5 and 250 pounds for the 13 millimeter um, implant. Based on our biomechanical data, and as we designed the precise max implant, which is now the fourth generation of the implant family, they, there is a 10 millimeter implant, an 11.5, a 13 millimeter implant, and a 14 millimeter implant. The 14 millimeter implants are a behemoth of an implant, um, and it is actually the strongest implant we have designed uh, within the family uh, of these types of implant technologies for the company. The corresponding guidelines for weight bearing capacity, uh, at least the anticipated ones, will be 150 pounds for the 10 millimeter device, 200 pounds approximately for the 11.5 device, 250 for the 13 millimeter device, and we'll probably stick with 250 pounds for the 14 millimeter device. Uh, implant. So given that, um, there will be a time period where um, we will still move forward with what we call the ALF launch, uh, where these devices will be released, um, as noted before, sometime towards the end of February, to a, a handful of uh, surgeons or centers that will be able to utilize the device. Um, during that time, we'll still be working diligently and getting the full guidance from the FDA over the next, I anticipate, two to six months uh, of getting the full guidance to match the biomechanical data we have for the implant uh, with the guidance that I had just mentioned for each uh, implant size. So I, I think overall still very positive news uh, pertaining to this new limp, uh, implant technology. As you remember, uh, Precise Stride was taken off the market back in February of 2021. This new device, Precise Max, will be released three years later in February of 2024. So it really has been a labor of love. Uh, there are people that I can think of in my head that have been working on this implant uh, for every single day for the past three years <laughs> and probably have not slept very much. Um, and so, you know, we applaud them, I think, for getting the implant this far and into the next uh, one to two months to, uh, through the manufacturing and production process uh, to get the implant made and sent out to uh, both clinicians as well as patients who have been uh, long awaiting the implant. 
Um, looking forward at uh, the remainder of uh, the approval process and releasing the implant more broadly into the U.S. We don't anticipate that to happen uh, until uh, the end of 2024, i.e. meaning that besides these few centers that will have it in the beginning of 2024, a broader release to the rest of the United States will not happen until the end of 2024. <clears throat> Looking at other countries, we don't anticipate that to even occur until 2025, uh, particularly certain markets like the European market that has um, very stringent um, um, guidelines for the approval process and getting um, implants to market. We really don't anticipate that to be until 2026, uh, but I still think very positive news and moving forward uh, in this space. Um, and I think a lot of um, both clinicians and, and patients have been waiting uh, really diligently um, uh, for this implant to be released. On that note, uh, the, the implant likely will be uh, more expensive uh, as Stride was a more expensive implant um, uh, comparatively to the Precise 2.2 device. We anticipate that to be similar in the circumstance. I do understand that you know there have been patients that have been waiting for three years for this implant. Uh, and you know, have been calling or contacting us um, here at the Lymplastic Institute at least on a weekly or monthly basis uh, to kind of move forward with this. And so we are we acknowledge that, and, and we are going to try our best to try to keep pricing very close to, or if not similar to, the pricing that we currently have for Precise 2.2. Um, so pl please contact us for a little more details. We'll be updating both on social media platforms as well as our website. Uh, further details about pricing when it comes to uh, the new Precise Max uh, and moving forward with this. Uh, type of technology for any uh, future surgeries. Um, on that note, looking at the future, I think the future is really bright. Uh, I think there's a lot more uh, newer technologies out there um, and new advances that are really exciting for the film for the field of uh, limb lengthening and limb deformity. You know, I feel really privileged to be a part of all of that, and I do think that the the field will continue to evolve and grow as we know it with all these new advances in this uh, in this space. Um, and I think it's a really exciting time to be really in the space. Um, so I'm, I'm really privileged to be really a part of that. Um, you know, on that note, uh, you know, it's near the holidays and we are going into Christmas as well as New Year's, and so I wish everybody a happy holiday and I look forward to. Uh, seeing everyone in 2024 and you know to you know if they would, if you'd like to discuss any further details about um, the implant uh, about the surgery about um, specific mechanical characteristics or design changes uh, about the um, the new technology or even future technologies I'm happy to do that on a one-on-one -on -one basis with you uh, you can reach out through uh, social platforms uh, as well as email um, and we're happy to even uh, schedule a consultation where you can chat with me one-on-one -on -one, uh, about further questions about the procedure. But once again, happy holidays and I look forward to seeing you guys in 2024.